So it's Wednesday and uh, Gene and I will be visiting the family. So Thursday, Friday, and Monday of next week, and possibly Tuesday, uh, I won't be posting any devotional videos because I'm not going to be in a situation where I can actually make them. And it's very rare that I make these ahead of time because I don't intend them to be any a production. I'm just reading my own devotionals in the morning and passing along to you things that I'm learning too. And, uh, and uh, maybe that'll have to change, that format will have to change in the future, I don't know, but right now that's all I'm doing. And uh, so uh, just, just letting you know that when I get back, I'll be doing uh, studies for Lent and marching towards Easter, and so the devotionals will be centered around that. Uh, but for today, for Wednesday, this is from Hebrews chapter 3. Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession, who was faithful to him who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. For Jesus has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, as much more glory as the builder of a house has more honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Now Moses was faithful in all God's house as a servant to testify to the things that were to be spoken later. But Christ is faithful over God's house as a son. And we are his house. Now that's not the end of the text. There's, there's one more clause there. We are God's house. We are the house of the Heavenly Father. We are the household that God is calling through the centuries from the beginning of time until the present day and until Jesus returns, those who have faith, the faith, the one and only faith in God through Jesus Christ, we are the household of God. We're not one religion among many religions. We're not one way to God among many ways to God. We're not one philosophical ideology that it competes for attention with a bunch of other philosophical ideologies. We're none of that. We are simply the household of God. Believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, believers in God through the confession of Jesus Christ, we are the household of God. But there's one more clause. If we indeed Hold fast our confidence and our boasting in hope. If we hold fast, our, our confidence is the word of God. So, so it is uh, our, our president from the Synod made a very bold proclamation yesterday, and I posted it on our website for the church. We are living in dramatic times in which we must boldly confess our confidence and our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and make no mistake, we can do it. Even the most timid of us, we can bear witness to our faith. The Lord Jesus will help us. The Holy Spirit will help us. But we can and we must bear witness to our faith. God bless you. God keep you today.